Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Another college football Saturday is here, so you know we're pumped. A lot of value on the board today. Uh, right now, actually, as I'm recording this, we got Clemson Syracuse going on. It's 14 7, got a little bit of a battle going on. Hopefully, Syracuse hangs on to cover that 13 and a half. We'll see. In this video, we're taking a trip down south to the SEC. We got Arkansas Auburn, gonna be a great game. Let's go. Welcome to the Sewers. The Sewers. The Sewers. Get the Suez. All right, like I said, we got Auburn on the road here at Arkansas. Razorbacks laying three and a half points at home here. And look at the action. Money is all over Arkansas. This is as of Tuesday morning early. And check this out. The books definitely react to the Arkansas money. Line jumps a whole point from three and a half. We're now at Arkansas minus four and a half. And check it out. When it hits four and a half, here comes a little bit of Auburn Tigers money. Not a lot. But we're up to about 28, 29% of the money on Auburn now. So let's cap this game. If you subscribe to this channel, you already know the first step. We're running the numbers through the spreadsheet. According to the analytics, Arkansas should be favored in this game by 11.18. Pretty solid lean there on the Razorbacks. That's more than a touchdown lead on Arkansas. All right, let's run through a quick breakdown of this game. And we'll start with Arkansas. They've now dropped two games in a row. Uh, good news, those games are against Georgia and Ole Miss, both on the road. That's a tough pair of games to play back-to-back, -back. not to mention the week before that they played Texas A&M. So, yeah, I'm sure there's Hogs fans out there that thought they could maybe steal one of those two games. But overall, let's take a step back and look at the big picture. Those aren't the worst losses in the world. Now, the Ole Miss game was an absolute shootout. Came down to the last second. Arkansas scored, went for two, went for the win, and didn't get it. In my opinion, if that game, that same game, is played in Arkansas, that the Hogs win that one. More importantly, we need to take a deeper look at this Georgia game. Georgia crushed them. Arkansas was held to just 162 yards of offense, 2.6 yards of carry. And if you're familiar with Arkansas's offense, you know that they have to run the ball. KJ Jefferson is developing as a passer, but they're still a ground team. They like to give the ball to Trilon Smith, have KJ Jefferson run. They, they need to run the ball. Now, the reason we need to take a closer look at that game, the reason that's so important, you know who the highest rated defense in the SEC is? Georgia. You know who's second? Auburn. You know who the highest rated run defense in the SEC is? Georgia. Do you know who's second? Auburn. I know Georgia is a much better team than Auburn overall, but as far as the defense goes, these teams are strikingly similar, and that should scare the shit out of you if you're an Arkansas fan. That Auburn defense, that front seven, it's big, it's physical, that, those linebackers are athletic. You cannot run on them, man. You can't run the ball. And what did we just get finished saying about Arkansas? They have to run the ball. I'm telling you, this is not, even though it's at home, it's not a good matchup for the Hogs here. Traylon Smith needs to find running lanes for Arkansas to find success. Now, the good news for Arkansas, yo, Auburn's offense, it sucks, man. And you could point the finger at one kid, Bo Nix. Yo, I was the biggest Bo Nix defender his uh, freshman year, even his sophomore year. But this kid just hasn't developed. He's got a live arm, does nothing with it, makes the wrong reads all the time. Yeah, he's a decent athlete. He can run the ball at times. But you cannot rely on this kid to win big games. And it's a shame for those five-star recruits they got down there in Auburn. Like Tank Bixby, yo, this kid could be potential first-round pick running back material. He's getting swallowed up three yards behind the line of scrimmage because nobody is scared of Bo Nix beating him down the field. Nobody. Now, after saying all that I just said, I can't believe this number's at four and a half. I hate it at four and a half because I don't think either offense is gonna have much success. In fact, I'll definitely be playing the under. But as far as sides go, they're forcing me to pick Auburn here. There's no way I'm laying four and a half points. Yo, Arkansas isn't gonna beat them by a touchdown. I think Arkansas wins this game, but at four and a half, I just don't think it's a smart play to lay those points. I'm gonna take Auburn. I'm gonna put my money on Bo Nix and I may end up hating myself for it, but uh, yo, four and a half, that's just too many points. Give me Auburn plus four and a half. I think that defense swallows Arkansas's offense up. Uh, don't worry, this definitely will not make the top seven bets of the day, I guarantee it. I'm just picking a side for a big game. This is not one of my favorite bets. Speaking of which, final ticket will be posted on kylekerms.com at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. It'll have my bet of the day, top three bets, top five bets, top seven bets, um, parlay of the day, as, as well as every bet I'm making for the entire day. 
all posted on kylecrumbs.com, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. Also, if there's any crazy changes, injury updates, uh, line movement, money shifts, anything like that, I'll definitely put it on my Twitter, Instagram story, and Facebook. So make sure you check those platforms before you place your bets. Another college football Saturday is upon us. Let's make some money. I'll talk to you on Twitter.